All right, so I don't collect a lot of slabbed coins because I don't want to pay for the grading of them. Um, I don't send anything off to be graded. I really don't believe in it. I'm an old-fashioned collector, and I believe that the coin's worth what it's worth, and it's not worth any more because some cat in a office somewhere graded it for you. Um, but I picked these up, two genuine slabbed Morgans, for cheaper than I can get anything out of the coal box. Uh, they were actually in the coal box and they were slabbed. I still can't make sense of it. They say genuine, not gradable PCGS, but they gotta be worth more than 30 bucks. So that is what made me start looking at slab stuff better because sometimes you can not pay for the slab, but still get a cool coin. Um, as well as I got these two eagles out of the same box. This one is a 2003, I think, is that what it says? Yep, 2003, 68, and a 2004, 69. 30 bucks a piece. I mean, you can't get silver eagles for 30 bucks anywhere, much less slabbed and graded. Um, whoever sold those, I don't know, they just weren't thinking. I would have been at least asking 40 for them. But then recently I found a guy that had these. Uh, these are all deep cameos. And there's only a few of them left that he's got. But I know they're available out there, so I'll be looking for them. But um, I thought they were really cool. Uh, this is a Civil War 95S. Uh, it's got a little... Uh, Epigee on the back. This one here is John Marshall. Here's the United States Chief of Justice back in the 1800s. You see there, 1801 to 1835, it looks like. Uh, this one here is 99P from Yellowstone. Pretty cool. Got all these at a great price. I mean, like, not paying for the slab. Just for basically what the silver content is. I'm not going to say melt value, but you definitely pay a premium for any piece of silver you're getting. Eisenhower Centennial. The Eisenhower Home. They're all $1 pieces. This one here commemorating the Constitution. 1987. Pretty cool. And we got one more here. This one is Korea. They are all proof 69 deep cameo. And different dates, different mints, different commemorations. And I just think they're cool to collect. So this is one of the slab coins that I'm on the lookout for. Um, as long as they're not too pricey. I've seen people asking a couple hundred bucks for them. I think you're out of your mind. I don't think they're worth that. Um, but as long as I can find them at a reasonable price, I don't mind collecting things like this. You know, um, these are the only slabs that you'll find in my collection are slabs that I got at a region reasonable price. I'm not going to pay some crazy newismatic value for a coin and then also have a grader charge me extra for my coin. Um, I just don't feel like that's fair. Um, I feel like my 1911 gold Indian head is worth just as much as a slab 1911 gold Indian head of the same grade. I don't care if you got yours wrapped in plastic. You know, I mean, it's just not a big deal to me. I'm not going to pay extra for it. Um, but other than that, these are my slabs. I'm going to box them back up now.